it's time for more real talk about the voiceover industry with your hosts, Linda Bruno and JJ Wilson. It's the Voiceover Gurus Podcast. Hello, JJ. Welcome back. Well, hello. Welcome Linda. back. Uh, Thank you. I, I've missed you. Have you? You've been pretty busy. Yes, I have. You've huh? been pretty busy. It's been okay. Yes. Y- knock on yes, wood. Yeah, yes. yeah. Between work and doctors and dentists. Yeah. It's, it's all been good it's though. It's a busy life. <laughs> I know. I know. I've been busy as well, but not in the ways that yes. I want to be busy. So. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Thing. Life throws you curveballs. Right. So I will just, I don't think I've really talked about it on the podcast, but um, I have a genetic disorder that has to do with my blood sugar levels. It's not diabetes people. So just relax. Um, but it is a glycol storage disorder and it's pretty rare. So I've been having a difficult time trying to find a geneticist in New York, believe it or not, that handles this. Um, and that's been my journey for like the last two weeks um, because I need to make sure I manage it uh, so uh, my organs basically don't fail. Hey, yay. Yeah, just little things. <laughs> little details like that, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it has become a part of my life as I've gotten older and it has affected me with work, uh, which is always the scary part because, you know, yeah. it's like Monday I got up and I was not feeling well. And so it was like everything was off the charts for me on Monday. I had to cancel a student and I just did not feel well. Um, and it was because of this. So, you know, when you're dealing with something, it, it it can really take a toll because, of course, that's a day that I'm not looking for jobs. And that's a day that I'm not, you know, I sucked it up and I recorded for my monthlies. But, you know, when you're not feeling well, it, it you know, you know, JJ, I mean, you've spent time I away. Do. I, it's, it's a good thing to bring up because, um, you know, when you really are established in this business after the years, I, I I will do anything not to miss a session. Right. I, the only time I've ever missed a session is when I had a heart attack. Yeah. I mean, I had a tooth yanked two days ago, and I had shots in there, you know, yeah. inside of my mouth and on the outside, and the guy was prying, and then the cap flew out on the floor. And he goes, and I said, are you done? And he goes, no, that was just the cap. And I'm like, <laughs> oh, my God. And he uses the teeth around it as a fulcrum to, to yeah, jam it yeah, out. Yeah. And, you know, by the time I got done, I was bleeding to death. I'm on blood thinners. I get home and I had to do a session. <laughs> oh, so I waited an hour till my mouth wasn't numb. And with blood dripping out of my mouth, I did a session. Wow. But that's what we do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But it just, I just, as the older we get, it's just, it's getting a little uh, troublesome and I'm tired of it's it. It's just there, there's some of those days you're, I think, a little bit stronger than me on this because you've done workouts with us with like a fever. And I would never know yeah, you've had yeah. a fever. I think... I don't know if I'm a more gentle flower or what it is, but. <laughs> well, I was brought up completely showbiz. Yeah. I mean, my mother, you know, she never missed a show. She never broke on stage. She was doing a, pl- a play one night in Summerstock Theater in Southbury, Connecticut. And while she and the other man were on stage, it was in an old barn. And I kid you not, a bat oh, yes. flew yes, out you've told on the us floor. The story. Yes. Mm-hmm. And. They, she, they she just kept, kept talking cool. while the man beat the bat with the baseball <laughs> she bat. She kept her cool. Yeah. <laughs> and she'd just keep going. Yeah. You know, you'd just, and my father was, you know, of course, showbiz. And he said, no matter what, the show must go on. Unless it, you know, it's something devastating, like drilling a hole in your leg, <laughs> which he did. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as far as sessions go, I will not miss a session either. You know, a booked session working for monthly clients is different. I have a little leeway. On that, but a live session I won't miss. But what I'm talking about in this case is that it zaps me of all my energy to try to look for new clients. Yes. And you still do that? (laughs) Well, that's what I want to, you know, bring up here because I'm going to actually pull back the curtain a bit and I am going to document myself finding new clients. Uh, for masterclass people to observe, because since the pandemic, I have, <laughs> I'm not telling you anything worth writing down, dude. Oh, sorry. <laughs> since the pandemic, 
a lot of things have changed for me with my clients and the genres that I were, was making a lot of money in. Yes. So yes. automotive, I did a lot of retail and re- retail was a big yeah. money maker for me. So we all know yeah. these both these genres took huge hits that have not yet recovered. Anyway. Oh no. So Oh no. That being the case, when I go back in to look up these clients, they've either been let go or the company has downsized or right. it's gone. Um yeah. so I am starting at square one just like so many of you, believe it or not. So even though you may have years of experience and thankfully I do have some regular clients, but I need more than just regular clients to continue with my business. I'll be honest, the voiceover gurus has taken up probably 80% of my time. Um, and I love it. I absolutely love it. But I have not given up on that love for voiceover. <laughs> right. You know, so right. I love getting up in the morning and working on a new, you know, course for you guys or a new package that we can offer you or or another podcast episode, thinking up creative ideas. I really, really love it and I can dive into it. But as a result, I have stopped pushing Linda Bruno. And I'm paying for it now because now I'm like, crap, I have not. And now I have to start over with a lot of areas. So yesterday morning, I was like, okay, I'm going to get on LinkedIn and I'm going to focus on one genre, which I did, DRTV, to try to find some new clients. I have some existing to find some new companies. And it was about half my day of looking up. Marketing is very time consuming. Very time consuming. But I want to share yes. in the master class exactly what happens with what I try and what I fail with and what I hopefully succeed with. So you can see as well someone that you'll realize that, you know, you can have the demo, you can, in my case, you can have the client list, you can have the background, but it doesn't matter. I still have to go and basically reintroduce myself or introduce myself to a whole new batch of people that are hiring. So I'm in the same shoes that you're in, and I thought it might be educational. I know. I thought it might be educational. You just said you're in. No, you are in. <laughs> you're in um, for, for you guys yeah. to see it if you're a master class member. So it's kind of like, yeah. like a video log I think I'm going to put together for master classers. And there's, a, there's an interesting thought, and I'm not saying you're old. I'm old. But we're not in our 20s anymore. We're not in our 30s. You know, you can probably get away with sounding like a mom, but I can't get away with sounding like a mom. I never could. I just did an audition. I was requested to do late 60s. And I questioned the agent. I go, are you sure you want me to read for this? And they said, no. The casting director specifically asked for you to try it as late 60s. Okay. So, you know, and I was going to turn it down. And I'm glad that I asked the agent. Because then they were like, well, if you're you know, concerned, you don't have to do it. But I'm like, hell no, I'm going to, I'm going to do it. <laughs> I'll try yeah, it. Absolutely. I just want to, I'll do anything. <laughs> I'll just raise, I just was raising that point that I, it's an yeah. unusual genre for me. I got a call the other day for 70 to 80. <laughs> but you can do and 70 I, to 80. Yes, I can. <laughs> right. Yeah, well, what? Yeah. Who's this? Huh? But I lost to a guy who's 89. Is this the same? I used to work with them all the time. This, this happened. You've told the story before, so this is not I, recent. Okay, see, my memory. Right. Going. Okay, it's, I was just letting you know. <laughs> we've we've okay. heard that, was, unless it happened Who again. Who are you, by the way? <laughs> <laughs> but that's it. But yeah, it's weird. You know, they send me this stuff that says twenty to thirty, and I write them back, and I go, "No, yeah, please use this spot for somebody who's twenty to thirty. I'm older than that." Now, there's two. I think there's two things to address, though, because there's one thing about sounding. Because you said we're not in our 20s and we're not in our 30s now. So maybe vocally we are not. Well, I am. I'm more in that range. But there's the other angle of having the motivation and the passion that one may have. And now I know a lot of folks are starting later. So maybe for you, it's your 40s and your 50s is when you're really going to go for it. Um, There really is no age range for that. But when you said that comment, I took it as, yeah, I don't have the same drive that I had in my 20s and my 30s. That's pretty much what I meant. Okay. I don't have the energy that I used to have to to market every day. I just, I just don't have it. Yeah. Because <laughs> I have the steady clients and it's enough for now. But you really have <laughs> to carve tired. out that time. Yeah. If I don't carve yeah. out time, I will get distracted with something else. Or an idea will come and I'll go, oh, I want to implement that. And then I'll be off on that for three hours. Yeah. You know, so 
it's like you have to set this time and go, okay, two hours, I'm going to do this, but I'm actually physically going to try to do it. And I'm going to just kind of give a little video log on what I do and, and tell you guys too, the things that I tried, how I tried to reach out to people, what worked, what didn't work. And, you know, let's, let's see what my experiences bring. It's tough out there. It is. And I don't want to not be a voiceover actor anymore. You know, know, it's, I I love doing voiceover. It's the one thing about our voices is if you take care of yourself, it doesn't change. You hear some of these people that are in their eighties singing and it's like gorgeous, just like it was when they were in their twenties, you know, a little off key, but who cares? (laughs) Tom Jones. You ever seen Tom Jones lately? Oh, he's, he's as good as he was 50 years ago. Fantastic voice. Yeah. You know, I got to tell you, I, my father opened up a Tom Jones concert at Madison Square Garden when I was about 12. <laughs> and I was <laughs> with him in the in the audience. And back then, a, a bra landed on my head. <laughs> Let me just say that, okay? <laughs> when he yes. came out on stage, they were throwing their underpants and everything mad to him. And a bra landed on my yeah. head. And my dad says, you glad to be here? I went, uh-huh. <laughs> I saw him in concert. And he, but he's awesome. He winked at me. He gave me a little wink. Oh, really? And I was sitting next to my then husband. You sure that wasn't an 80-year-old twitch? I know, no. <laughs> I was like, oh, my God, Tom. I, it's I get like it. babies. He's smiling. No, it's gas. <laughs> <laughs> but people were throwing up, like, hotel room keys and stuff. Yes. yes. But these days, yeah, you wouldn't know which room it is uh, with those hotel room keys. <laughs> Do they have an elevator? <laughs> I can't go up the stairs. You're on the first floor, I hope. All right. Good. So that was my my point. Is just I want to really pull back the curtain. Um, oh, don't say pull. Please. Don't. Oh, sorry. Because one of my greatest pet peeves about this business, some people in this business, not all, because there's some amazing podcasters out there. Thank you. Yes, you you are you, num- you too. numero uno. That are still portraying this, I'm so successful, I'm constantly booking jobs. And, uh, if that's the case, I don't know who this person is. Um, I mean, I don't know. I hear some of it and instantly my eyes are like rolling. I'm just like thinking, wait, just be honest. Be honest with the fact that it yeah. isn't always peaches and cream. <laughs> You know, there's. I, I agree with that so much. Um, I, I just, I, I was going through Facebook, and this is not to knock anybody, but you know, there were pictures from the Voice Arts Award. Oh, right. Mm-hmm. You know, with people standing on the red carpet and this and that, and I'm going, um, okay, <laughs> okay, if that's how you want to do it, that that's fine. Honestly, I'm too shy for that stuff. I just, I, I, just, I don't want the attention on me. No, it all goes back to that story I've told about Jay Stevens and saying, why? Shut up. Go home. Do your work and make the money and shut up. Yeah. You don't have to, you know, appear on something because you did one cartoon voice. Wow. Mm -hmm. You know, we're not brain surgeons. We're not saving the world. We don't have, you know, we, some of us have you, you know, people like you and me and lots of others have many years experience in this, but that's still, I think you put it sort of right with your shy. It's just that. I don't think I deserve that. Yeah, it's just like, same thing. I do voiceovers for crying yeah. out loud. Mm-hmm. And I love what I do. And that's enough. I don't believe I need the recognition. No. I don't feel the need for recognition. No. I want to go to the mailbox. That's my recognition. Get the check. Yes. Oh, by the way, um, never mind. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, but, I, yeah, I'm too much of an introvert just, for that. Yeah. Well, I'm a, I'm a per... Uh, what did you say? <laughs> Intra? Or per... Introvert. Okay. Like I got no problem getting close. behind a microphone um, and speaking to. I I would not be good in a TED Talk situation. I would not be good on a big stage speaking, acting. Yes, singing. Yes, yes. but not just talking. Like if somebody said, "Get on a forum and talk about voiceover in front of five thousand people," I could not do that. Right. Gotcha. See, I could do that. But I don't know if I could go out and act in a play anymore. I think my anxiety would take over and I would just oh, fall apart. Okay. See, yeah. for that, I just become yeah. someone else. So. Yes. But if you're. So do I. But, you know, I'm. A... 
Roses are blue, violets are red, I'm a schizophrenic, and so am I. <laughs> but if you're doing public speaking, <laughs> it's you up there. Yeah, it is. It's not a character that you're... you're... Uh, it would just be me. That I could do. I don't know why. It's weird. Right. It's weird. Plus the pressure, but, uh, too. Oh, I sorry. I got to stop you and let you know that my eye lock cloud is active. I just got to Oh, notice. just now? <laughs> Thank God. Wow. Okay. Oh, now I just lost my train of thought. Um, oh, God. There'll be another train along soon. I don't soon, know. Don't I worry. hope so. At this age, they keep <laughs> you disappearing. You were TED Talks on stage mm-hmm, talking. Saying that that was uh, difficult for me. Um, yes, won't do it. Uh, hey, this is a good reason why I don't do li- live announce anymore. Because it's just. Yeah, I couldn't. I couldn't handle that. That was the closest thing I would have to a heart attack. Yeah. Was be doing the live announce. Don't don't say. Sorry. I'm sorry. It's just the the stress that comes with it. And God bless man. If you can introvert, I think I am too introverted for it, which is probably why I'm not very active in a lot of the Facebook groups either. So I'm comfortable with my little world. I love our Facebook, our uh, voiceover gurus community. I love the fact that everyone has worked with us so it's not strangers that we're speaking to um and if it means that things yeah. don't grow <laughs> the way that they could i don't care <laughs> I, I just i'm not I'm, yeah no i'm not happy the other way and no i don't like that i love i i gotta tell you i had a session yesterday um where i got to play a part in a social studies course okay like uh, a for character a part? public television mm-hmm. for public public television and the guy sent me six scripts and there was just another girl that I was talking to who was a teenager who'd already recorded her part. So I listened to her stuff to see what kind of a sound she had. And then he read her parts to me over Skype Mm -hmm. and I would read my lines after him. And I was playing a very old wise man with a mustache and a beard and no hair and a a white, like, I don't know, smock thing. And I was just old and wise nice, and a little bit funny at times, <laughs> but we just had a blast. Yeah. We did six scripts in half an hour and he goes, oh my God. That was great. I, it was just, I was having so much fun. The world was gone. Mm-hmm. I mean, bombs could have been going off. And when I got done with that, he said, man, you are just, you've been doing this a long time, haven't you? And I said, yeah. <laughs> and he said, you're just so in the zone. And I, I sat back for a minute and I went, I still love this as much as I did yeah. 35 years ago. Yeah. When you get the good stuff and you're into it and the guy knows what he's doing. He was a great producer, just a wonderful man, nice. a great writer. And I said, I can't tell you what a pleasure it is to read wonderful things yeah. that are written excellently. And I just had a blast. That's fun. I, mean, I think I went on too much with it, but it's cool to know that you can and you should find something to do that you love all of your life. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because it really makes it. difference. Which is why I want to do more voiceovers. I want to do more voiceovers. Yes. There are tough times in this business. Yes. I I mean, really tough times that that make you want to just, you know, go do woodworking. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. But but days like yesterday, it's it's funny. It seems like they're the, I don't don't know if I believe in God so much, but I believe there are like 50 of them. Mm Mm-hmm. And the voiceover God watches me very carefully and he goes, nah, we're getting close here. Let me throw him a bone. <laughs> <laughs> I know. And I get a call out of nowhere going, oh, here's a big job. Thank you. Yes. Now, yes. for the dental god, could you stop it? <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> Enough. I know. I know. And so it is. And so it is. And my appointment was with tooth hurdy. Tooth hurdy? <laughs> <laughs> yes. I said, you're not making my appointment at that time, are you? She said, yes. And I went, oh, good. So it's going to hurt. You were telling me a story that you were going to tell during the podcast with your What story was that? Dogs. Oh, jeez. <laughs> you got to share. You got to share. I went out and had my usual Egg McMuffin this morning. And I, I get back home and I say, hi, honey. And she's throwing things. And she's in the utility room with the big sink. And I go, what what you doing? And she goes, the floor vacuum cleaner, the one, you know, the iRobot that goes around the house by itself and and mops Mm -hmm. and sweeps. So the dog took a crap in the bathroom and it ran over it. And then it made its pattern (laughs) in the bathroom, cleaning all of the floor and leaving shit 
everywhere <laughs> it went. <laughs> so she said, don't go in the bathroom now. <laughs> and I said, wow, thank God I have a, a, a podcast with Linda. Because <laughs> now. Because <laughs> she's in there. The machine is yeah. in pieces and she's picking out oh, the shit with a God. screwdriver. <laughs> Thank you, doggy. And it looks like a racetrack in the bathroom. Oh, it's my just God. Like, it's very consistent now. I know that because I could see this. It's like a really good farmer. Yeah. The rows were perfect. I noticed that oh, on my, yes, on my carpets. <laughs> it's beautiful, but now you have crap everywhere. Yeah, it was just, it was just <laughs> lovely. So could we do an extra long version of the podcast today? Because <laughs> I'm afraid to go back out. <laughs> Keep talking, JJ. Keep talking. <laughs> When I do, I'm not sure we're going to have any dogs out there. <laughs> now, you've been doing pretty Where's Charlie? Well. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you've been doing pretty well lately. Gotten some good bookings, you think, because yes. of your work with Alyssa? Yes. That 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 was just, uh, and it was something so simple. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you just get so wrapped up and you get, oh, my God, I'm not doing something right. And, oh, my God, and you start overthinking everything. And it was just a simple a simple thing that I had forgotten mm -hmm. due to time. Right. I, you know, I, I'm so used to just, okay, here's an audition. Let me get that done. Da, 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 da. And in classes, every single class that we teach, I say, when you think you've done enough, you haven't done enough yet. But you weren't following it. When you think it sounds it? ridiculous, I was not following my own <laughs> rules. And so I just started to let go like crazy. Great. And I booked three sessions with three agents in a week. Wow. And I mean, I've been through months without. Yes. And and like you wondering, why do they keep me? Yeah, why do they keep sending me stuff? <laughs> why? I haven't booked anything since 1974. <laughs> I know. I know. But then all of a sudden, the guy sitting next to the dental god said, "Okay, let's throw let's him a bone here something. again." So. But yes, it's it's been it's been very nice. It's been very nice, and we, were, uh, we had to reschedule it, with Alyssa because JJ had something come up. So next week, though, we're going to record with her. No, come out. Had to come out. Yeah, my tooth. Oh, your tooth had to come out. <laughs> so next week, we're actually going to record with Alyssa, and that's when I want her to explain what it is that you guys went yeah. through in your session. That yes. hopefully the rest of us can pick up a tidbit or two to help us with our yes. auditioning and potential booking yep. ratio. Yes, it, it was amazing. I sent her a, a, a take that I had done for an audition, and she goes, yeah, it's good. And I said, but, but she said, probably everybody else is going to send the same thing. Oh, and that's and great I advice. Went, oh, my God, of course. Yep. And that's what reminded me that I'm not following my own rules. Mm -hmm. Think of something that somebody wouldn't think of. Stand out. Right. And I think I've said this before, but uh, um, uh, what's the home store? Something home store. Home goods, home, uh, home depot, home. No, it's it, there's da 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 home store, and I'm sure the guy booked it because he did something funny with the word store. Did he? He just put a smile on it. He says the da 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 home store, <laughs> and I'm sure the guy went, "Oh, I like that. Let's book him." Yeah. Just because of that. Well, well. So it, you never know. Yep. You never know. It's true. So, yeah. yeah so we yeah. get questions all the time. People are like, how can we study with you? And until I get my web guy to respond to me, I don't know. I think he's avoiding me. I don't know. Um, uh -oh. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> if anybody out there, too, does websites and you don't charge an incredible amount, could you please reach out to me <laughs> at info at Linda <laughs> Bruno? No, info at voiceover.guru. You can reach out to me because... I love my web guy, but man, he's just too busy. He's too busy and yeah. he's really good. Yeah. And this is the problem because voiceover gurus has not been updated in a few years. So um trying to make it. I could do it for you. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. I'm going to get <laughs> So you've got to start with us with the online course. Don't be intimidated by it. It is very straightforward. Oh, no. Yeah. It's very straightforward. Very straightforward, but we need you to know those basics before we can work together. Um, it just makes everybody's life easier. You will understand what we're talking about when we're coaching you. Um, right. And so everyone needs to start with that. So if you go to our main page, there's a link there. You can click to head over to the course area. Um, and then you take the course. And then with it either comes an evaluation or a few lessons, depending on what level you're at. Um, so 
I encourage you to do that because that's the beginnings of all of this. Now, we know that people come in at different levels. Some people have trained with other coaches, and maybe now they're just looking to make a demo. So we have a demo focus package um, solely for that. Um, and then in addition, the reason why we hold the online workouts is because we want you to keep your talent sharp. We want you to stay Absolutely. fresh with it, you know. Absolutely. I just told a student who had to take some time off mm -hmm. because of family things and, and changes in, in their lives. And I said, and they sent me a few takes and it was, it was a little rough. Yeah. And I could tell that a lot had been forgotten about the, the, the basics and the rules. And I said, just come to a couple of workouts. Yes. You'll not only get to do the stuff, but you'll hear five other people do the stuff. Mm -hmm. And it'll come back in a couple of classes. Exactly. And you'll be right there again. And then because, you, you know, I said, you are good. You just haven't done she it yet. She hasn't practiced it enough. And what mm -hmm. you did learn when you were at that point, you were really good. Right. And it's just you got interrupted. So I said, if you really, does, you know, really got your heart in it, let's, let's try again. And the workouts, we always keep them at six people. And so, yes. I mean, there are times, especially when Alyssa joins us, you've got three coaches and six people. For six yeah. people. Yeah. And that is an incredible ratio, uh, you know, advantage for you guys. Um, but right. it's on purpose because this is not one of those situations where we're like, oh, come down and maybe you'll get a chance to read something if you're in the first hundred people to sign up. You know, I'm right. not about that. Um, I'm too shy for it. We just covered this. <laughs> I'm too shy to talk yeah. to 100 people at once. And we're too honest. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and as Linda says, JJ, you're just too damn nice. <laughs> yes, you are. Very, 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 very nice. Very, very, very nice. But that's just the way I am. And I, I get as excited for the students as I do for myself when they do something really good. Yes, exactly. You know, they send me a read. I go, oh, wow. Yeah. You know, we, we, we did that together. You, you came with nothing and now mm -hmm. you're better than me. Stop calling it's me. <laughs> <laughs> go make money. <laughs> Leave me alone. Yeah. Leave me alone. <laughs> Yeah, this has been very uh, revealing because I'm starting to really realize that's right. I don't like to talk to crowds of people. I really, truly am a very shy person, which you would not know yeah. because we get behind microphones and I do the podcast. But remember, right. people, I was in radio for 16 years, so I could pretty much talk about anything and not think about it. But there's not a room full of people in front of me. Right. You know, so it. The times have changed. It's a different. I remember back in the day, I used to love the more people in the studio watching me the more fun I had. You know, I would be standing there with Dave Corey and Daryl Gilly and Connie Zimmett, and they, I swear to God, they hired us just for the show. Right, you know, exactly. Go, oh, this is going to mm -hmm. be a great session. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, Dave takes his pants off or whatever. And, you know, it's just, oh, I miss those days. I, I miss those days very, very much. I know you do. And now we're just, you know, in our rooms, and we get used to this, and then going back out to it, it's scary for me. It's just like, oh my God. I guess I'm... I'm... I get nervous when I do sessions with people on the Oh line. God, yeah. I had one last week. I was so nervous. Yeah. <laughs> it's like... Yeah. Uh, but um, I think that um, the voiceover sessions with groups of people, I have I have not had one of those in probably 20 years. So yeah. for me, that's ancient history. Yeah, that's history. But yeah, it is. to be, if you work in radio, anyone that works in radio, you realize that there's an audience out there listening to you, but they're not right in front of your face. So you right. are able to let go and to hopefully connect with your audience. But yeah, I would get the, those lines from my, my PD when I was in New York and he'd say, oh, during the day you have potentially 4 million listeners. Um, and at night it's about 8 million. I'm like, okay. Just a little detail yeah, there. Doesn't matter. They're not yeah, here. I'm like, but inside I was like, holy crap. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's just keep it cool. Don't answer the phone if somebody calls. That's right. <laughs> just hide. That's right. Hide. <laughs> I worked at a station in the Keys, and the evening guy, the overnight guy, was the scariest person I've ever met in my oh, life. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. His name on the radio was the Midnight Hauler. Hauler? Uh -huh. Like, like spell hauler. H a u l e r. What the heck did he like, haul? Bodies? <sighs> what? You're wrinkling your nose. Drugs. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I go the sick route. Bodies. Yeah. No, <laughs> he was. He was. Ooh, he was frightening. He was frightening. Wow. But yeah. 
Radio yeah, attracts yeah. an interesting crowd. That's a good. But you said you had four million. I think I had forty two in I was Alamorada, say Florida. In Key West. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ra- the radio oh man, the stories I have in radio. That would be good for another oh, podcast. Another podcast episode. My father always said she may sound pretty on the phone, but when you invite her in, you're going to be sorry. <laughs> the classic <laughs> face for radio. You have yeah, a face for radio. Yeah. yeah. She was missing most of her teeth. <laughs> and I went, Oh I called my dad and I said Help. <laughs> we used to, how, do I, how, do I, how do I undo we this? We used to call that summer teeth. They have summer teeth. Some summer are there, teeth. some are missing. Well, I'm getting to the point now where I can eat a beer of corn and I can spell my name on it. <laughs> Come on, you've always wanted to be like that. You know it. Yes. Make you different. Certainly <laughs> oh. will, yes. Oh, good Lord. So get to your Chevy dealer today. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thanks for listening to no. Thank you for the listening. Voiceover Gurus podcast. Um, yes. and yeah, we'll get uh, Alyssa in with us on the next time she can talk about her. Coaching That's going to be practices. cool. You're going to learn a lot from that mm-hmm. one. As we, you're going to learn a lot as I did towards a hundred. And episodes. if I can learn it, you, you can. Right. Because yeah, because I already knew yep. it. And if you become and lost if you it. become a masterclass member very very soon, I will start to post my videography, video, video log, whatever vlog, whatever you want to call it about my adventures in finding new clients. Yes. And basically trying to pump up and introduce myself to a new audience of people. That's Should right. Two and hands of a hoop. Find the energy to do that and not get distracted. Yeah, or have issues with blood glucose and I'd be fine. <laughs> distracted. All right, everybody. We'll the vacuum cleaner. I was so scared for a minute. Good luck cleaning up the crap, JJ. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Everybody have a great day. Yeah, it was fun. Talk to you all soon on the uh, voiceover.guru's radio and television network. No, voiceover.guru. Voiceover.guru. Oh, we have another URL, too. Learnwiththegurus.com. Learn with the do guru. The... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, let's do a take two on that. Uh, Learnwiththegurus.com. No, 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 no. <laughs> right then. Well, I think it's time for more medication for me. (laughs) Goodbye. Thanks for listening to the VoiceOver Gurus Podcast. Real talk about the voiceover industry. Learn more about us and get coaching at voiceover.guru.